By now we're all familiar with 4K TVs, but until recently 4K video projectors have been a little less common. Now BenQ has come out with its 4K video projector for home theater use, and it not only promises outstanding video resolution, but it's got a compact portable size, an easy to use interface, and you can connect smart streaming components too. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I recently had a chance to spend a weekend with this device. Here's what I found. The BenQ Cinehome 4K Ultra HD HDR Home Theater Projector, ooh, that's a lot of tech, uses higher resolution than typical HD projectors. Need a primer on what 4K is and why it's better? Head over to blog.bestbuy.ca and read more. Suffice to say, though, images in 4K tend to be sharper, much more detailed, and highly realistic. They're also more colorful and show truer color representation and more natural gradation than HD. Projectors can be a good idea if you want something slightly more portable or something that you can move around from room to room. The other good thing about projectors is that you can change the image size based on where you are and how much wall space you have available. You can either use it to project a very small localized image or if you've got a ton of wall space, you can use it to absolutely fill up the area. There's not actually a lot to talk about when it comes to setting up this device. It's pretty much plug and play. It's pretty straightforward. So you'll unbox it, connect it to AC power, of course, pop in the included batteries in the remote control that comes with it. You'll run through a few things in terms of setup, like choosing your language and where you're going to place the machine. And then you'll want to connect your streaming device or your peripheral, essentially how you're going to get content to the machine. In my case, I've chosen a Roku Ultra, which has 4K capabilities. So get that connected and everything should be ready to go. Now it's worth noting that it doesn't come with an HDMI cable. So hopefully you've got an extra one around to use with your peripheral or you've picked one up when you've bought the BenQ home theater projector. Now one other thing I wanna say about my temporary setup here. If you're going to go to the trouble of investing in a device like this, a high-end 4K projector, you definitely want a real screen or you want to paint a wall specifically for this use. Unfortunately, I don't have any white walls in a dark enough room where I can give this a good test. So I've hung up a tablecloth and uh, steamed the wrinkles out of it and that's sort of my temporary screen. But if you're going to invest in this device, you definitely want to set aside a couple of bucks for a proper screen or a new paint job. Once you have everything connected, you'll power on. Now this process took a little longer than I thought it needed to. I timed it a few times and it would take about 30 to 35 seconds before the lamp would come on and display the BenQ logo. Then it was nearly another 20 to 30 seconds until the setup menu or the TV menu came on, totaling almost a full minute before I was really ready to watch. That's a heck of a lot longer than it takes to boot up most TVs today. It's not a big deal, I guess, but it is something to be aware of since initially I thought something was wrong with the projector. Once I loaded up some video, I have to say I was quite surprised at the video quality even projected onto that tablecloth screen that I'm using. You probably can't see it from this distance, but the video is really quite sharp, it's very detailed, and the colors are absolutely amazing. I put on an array of 4K TV shows from Netflix and YouTube and found them to be ultra sharp and clear. I also watched videos both on my temporary white tablecloth screen and on the blue wall in my family room. Not surprisingly, I found I could see the best detail when projected on the wall. And even though the wall is a pretty bright blue color, I didn't notice that the colors of the video were off by a lot. You can probably say that's thanks to the brightness of the BenQ projector and the HDR support for true deep colors in the video image. There is a fan running on this machine. I don't even know if you can hear it. It's quite quiet. It doesn't sound like a fan typically sounds, particularly when it comes to projectors. It almost sounds like just a really low grade buzzing or humming sound. It's the kind of thing that's not gonna be distracting. It might be a little weird at first, but you shouldn't notice it and it shouldn't interfere with your enjoyment of the device. In bright or dark conditions, the video stayed bright and detailed. Of course, in a fully dark room, the BenQ projector's video looks its best, but even with the lights on full or dimmed by half in my tests, it was still a strong, bright, and watchable video picture. I was really surprised and very impressed. I only had just a couple of days, just one weekend with this device, and I wish I could have spent more time with it. But even so, in that time, I have to say, I found the video picture to be absolutely stunning. It's very clear, even on my sort of cobbled together setup here, it looks really good. And let me tell you, it looks a lot better close up than it probably does from this distance. If you're looking to upgrade your home theater to a 4K projector, I think the BenQ is going to work really well for you, and I do recommend it. 
If you want to read more about it, there's a full blog online at blog.bestbuy.ca. You can head over there and check it out. It's got some more detail than I can provide in a short video review. You can also ask me any questions you have either on the blog or here on the YouTube channel. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps us keep making more videos that we hope you can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L Y Y C.